why do you think um, you know, your brand popped off, I guess? Because like, you know. it's sick. On the way to Hunters. Let's fucking go. Middle of nowhere. It is still quite dry up there. You know, if we, oh, if we wouldn't have got service, we'd have never got here. No. Operation Rescue British Boys! Yeah, you can cross. You still got the record, right? Yeah, but the difficult part about it is like, I don't want to do it again and take off like 15 seconds. I want to take off three minutes, four minutes. So I just do three days a week. I'm doing like, we're going to do 250 push ups today. We'll do uh, all the Squats, and by the end of the day, you just feel like your kneecaps are gonna pop off. But nah, it takes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're gonna hit a quick miler, yeah. and then we'll come back here, ditch the vest, we'll pump some iron, and then we'll do basically like a 40 minute calisthenic workout. Okay. You boys want any snacks or drinks? That's 20. No, you're backwards, backwards. Uh, so this is a day in the McIntyre household. We are training for, training for Murph right now. I got the boys coming up here early in the morning. We're gonna beat the sunrise. So basically I kind of like to do a full body workout. We're really focusing on push-ups and squats right now in the routine, just because that's the longest chunk of Murph. So I'm basically gonna line these boys up, put some plates on them, make them do some serious work. But we always start with strength. So by the time we get to the weight vest, it feels really easy heavy lunges, and then we do really, really heavy chin-ups. We're gonna try to break 100 pounds today. And then from there, we just start doing sets of 10. And all the whole goal is just to blow out the muscles mentally and physically. And honestly, some of the most high-performing dudes I know, I'm really lucky to have them here. Usually people don't like waking up this early. Usually people don't like working this hard. And now I got a whole crew of them and a couple of cameras to capture the whole thing. So oh, yeah. let's rage. Heavy legs, heavy arms, and we're done. How's that? Nice. Come on. It was good to just fucking slide out of the 205, and then I'm gonna go 205, 225, 255. Let's turn this bad boy on. Probably need to get a new speaker, but this one's got nostalgia to it. <laughs> instructor you realize that you're really just a bitch yep. you're training the arm honestly there's levels to this shit go put the mats out we got 10 sets of 21 push-ups this push-up yep you're touching this on the floor right every time yep and like next week i go 23s next week i go 25s all yep. the way up to 35s so like if I, my max set of doing would be like 50 and I'd be blown out doing this. Yep. I'm trying to be like under 50%, but to be able to show up with about 60 seconds every single set. Okay. So this whole workout should be done in about 15 minutes. Right. So and then you, we go into squats. When you do the move, is yep. it straight through on push-ups or are you going like five push-ups and 10 squats? 
vaults. No, no, straight through. Straight through. Right. So traditional style. So like that was where I failed last time is I just didn't do enough traditional volume. I was yeah. doing too much like CrossFit style stuff. Yeah. So we're just building it up and building the strength. So first set, 21. I wake up every day, get a little work done, and I ditch my phone, run up the pool, jump in. Every morning? Every morning. Changed my life. Yeah. It's cold? Yeah. Beautiful. Chilly. Not not too spicy. Have a routine every morning? This is it right now, yeah. I can usually wake up every day at four, write a bunch of stuff down on a post-it note and get it done before everybody else wakes up. Yep. But like if I don't do that little extra piece, I kind of travel through the rest of the day with a little bit of bite on my shoulder. I have to remind myself, I'm like, did you live in Malibu? This is the greatest. Here we go. Yeah, so far it starts to come in around set three to five. Yeah. And I think if I do a similar routine everywhere I'm at every day, I end up being so much happier. Yeah. This thing right here is like portal to paradise or or purgatory. Yeah. You used to be like locked into it and like, what's next? Next set. Oh my god. What was that? Eight? Or seven? Eight. We did five, six, seven, eight. Two more. One more. Basically guys, when you get done with your set, just stand right up. I have to do 65 air squats. 65. You do five sets, so you pick 40s, 50s, 60s, whatever you want to do. Yeah. But you gotta do the whole thing. George, how you feeling? I'm feeling. I don't know how I'm feeling. <laughs> oh, it's a lot of squats. The bench, chest, pull-ups is fine, but I'm not not strong on them squats. No. Also run. Yeah. Yeah, the mile. It's a lot of volume. I like that mile. But it's humbling. Yeah. Just different. Being up in the mountains and doing it is fucking so different. Yeah, I know. I want some of this. Yeah. Just don't take a blood test after. Yeah. You literally can't beat this shit. Imagine being 70, 80 now, not being able to move. You would literally pray to have this. So you gotta take it in, man. You gotta be grateful for it. Gotta be present for sure. Second time here as well. First 100%. time was one, like a high rocks. That was, you, tough, that was tough. Yeah. Squat, he always starts with strength. Yeah. And then he adds in like the herbs and the cardio, which is nice. Yeah. Stay strong, even though he's, he's always putting in the strength work. He never really loses always. that like yeah. pace, you know? All right, boys. We got ten minutes. Yep. And I'm on. You got go go. Yeah, I gotta go. Run up, squat, jump in, and done. Boys, all right. Last 65, we jump in the pool, and then everyone's on to the rest of the world. Like a little, little bit of blood to start the day. You don't have training scars. You ain't training. Prime rib right now. Wagyu steak, boys. Here's the thumbnail. Ah! <laughs> Oh, 
Now I'll wrap it up. So the boys just went through a day up here at Hunter Camp. We're on top of the world. Uh, it's a different lifestyle, it's a different mindset. Uh, you know, if I called almost anybody else in the world to show up in the middle of nowhere, Malibu, on top of a mountain at 5 a.m., probably no one would show up. And that's why these guys are on top of their game. And it's awesome to align myself with people that work this hard. Uh, it's a king's cruise, what I like to call it. Uh, honestly, these guys ripped up all the reps. That's a really hard workout. That's as elite as it gets for training for something like Murph, and that's the hardest workout in the world. So, um, biceps and races, baby. If you ain't working, we are. Thanks for having us, buddy. <laughs> Dude, this speech is beautiful. <laughs> Hunter for president. Legit. <laughs> Honestly, I'm going to start funding that campaign. I'll take it. I'll take right. it. Do you think Murph's the hardest in the world? Uh, I think for like the period of time. Like, yeah. High Rocks, even though it's like a really hard ass workout, you get those runs in between. Yeah, when you're in the cool. middle of those push ups, getting towards that like half set that we were at, and the fives and stuff, your tits are just so pumped up. Yeah. You're begging for mercy. It's just one inch of pain. Where High Rocks is spread out. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah. Like I just put up the pull ups. Tens? I usually come in with a set of 20, and then I hit sets okay. of tens, and a couple fives at the end. So, 2024. What's the goals? Uh, What's High Rocks up? world record, High Rocks uh, world title, uh, Murph world record again. Uh, elevate my crew, elevate myself. And the brown. Yeah, dude. And like the honestly, as well. it's it's things like this. Like nothing gets me higher now. Like I love competing. Yeah. But it's attracted people like yourself where I get to like sit down and rethink things and just keep on chatting through it. Because sometimes this lifestyle it's isolating. Yeah. You're just opening your brain all the time, just thinking, you're like, what's next, what's next? And then you guys have already been there or we're on the same path. So yeah, yeah. this is the best, dude. Yeah, man. I appreciate you having us out here. Now we're here full time, so. No traffic. Yeah, bro. <laughs> Need to need to get one of them. Um. Y'all ready for a little adventure? Yeah man. <laughs> How are you? We're good. Okay. We're near this, the end. Is it a thing? Yeah man. It's been a while but I can't wait. Good morning guys. We're here at Latigo Canyon, uh, just up from Malibu. Today we're going on a 60 mile bike ride. Not rode a bike in a couple years, but um, I'm gonna see how it goes. Ross has given me this sick little setup we've got going here. And kit and helmet. I feel like a little child today that's getting a lot of uh, <laughs> presents from his father. Um, Hunter's gonna put us through our paces. It's gonna be a good day. Can't wait, man. We'll catch some rise up at the top of the mountain. I've got your shit over here. You wanna get it? Yeah, please, bro. I'm gonna have a look at the wardrobe. Alright. Alright, guys. I don't have my watch on, but I'm pretty sure it's super early. It's, I think, around. 550 right now and last week we were pumping iron in the gym I told the boys they got to really see the the good side of Malibu I mean a lot of people think Malibu is all about the mansions and the beaches but the most incredible part of Malibu is up here in the mountains so I'm taking these guys way up Latigo Canyon it's iconic it's probably the most fam famous canyon in all of California for cycling we're gonna take them all the way up it's 2,000 feet of climbing and then we're gonna climb across all the mountain range all the way to the tip of Malibu and we're gonna cruise back on the beach George has got a big day today, so I got to get these guys through it in three hours or less, and that's a big ask. So uh, let's hope these guys got it. They're macho and everything else, so I'm sure they're gonna crush this too. Shoes on, and we're fucking ready to rock, boys. Let's go. We're out here with Hunter. Third time we've trained. This time we're on a bike up Ladigo Canyon. I've done it a couple times. It's always a good time. Best view in LA, I reckon. I'll just up. stick a tank over the top, it'll be alright. Yeah, I don't care. Yeah. I just don't have the pockets. Oh yeah, shit. Pockets are in the back, aren't they? Yep. Whoop. To my bike either. Let me just make sure I got this right. A little faster. Woo! This is it, baby. This is it! To the floss! Watch out. Ooh. Definitely ran over that raft. How are your legs feeling so far? Legs are pretty good. And I gave you guys his ball. Yeah. George, how you feeling? Good, bro. My legs aren't used to this stuff, so... Just 
settling in. Trying to figure out my gears. Oh, we'll move. How do you know, um, how do you know Eli? Um, back in the day, we used to go to the clubs that he'd fucking come out at. Yeah. Like, warring and shit like that. That guy's got a wild life. Yeah. He used to be an ex promoter. Oh, here we go. Half a mile up. I'm too tight. All right, so we are currently surging the toughest hill in Malibu. We're about 75% to the top. Once we get up there, best view as you can see, it's starting to light up right now. Um, that's why I wanted to get the boys out here early so they could get this special moment. And once we get to the top, we're gonna go through a safari, then maybe drop into a wine, a vineyard. Yep. And then uh, we're back down for a couple Starbucks and business, baby. That was fucking perfect. What a way to wake up. Yeah, you can. You see all those trees? Yep. You see that hump and it comes down to the trees? Yep. Oh, baby! We have... We've climbed. We've conquered. <laughs> now we go into the back section, which I call Alabama. Yeah, so my house is right around the other side of that thing by like another two miles. We just did this big loop. We're only about another 45, 30 minutes out. Would you make a nitro? You want a cup of coffee? Sure. How, how long have we got left? 30, 45 minutes. Oh, sick. It's really yeah. nothing. That's perfect. Kind of like what you guys are feeling. I'm feeling good, man. Like just my ass is numb. But I've not been on a bike for a few years, so that's why. Apart from that, I feel good, man. Legs are pumped. Been having a good time out here. The plan right now, just head back. We're gonna head down to Mount Dune, uh, which is a few miles that way. Mount Dune, we're gonna head to that Mount Dune. That should be a brand. That should be a brand. Point Dune. Point Dune. I'm trying to get it for you. Coliseum Dune. Ask, ask Hunter, dude. I don't know where I am. I'm just there for the guy, for the vibe. Hunter, break it down. Uh, dude, we're we're like this is it. This is the last lap. This is kind of like the victory lap. Everyone's getting their coffees. I'm gonna take these boys on like the prettiest part of Malibu. Um, I'm taking it to where if you make it and you're in Point Doom, like that's it. And I know he's house shopping, so I want to set the bar high for the guy. <laughs> I'm trying to find the house in Point Doom. That's right. Mission complete. How was it? It was fucking good, cool experience. Yeah, I enjoyed that. Again, just more looking at 40 million pound houses. That's all we went for. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, it was insane. I love that shit. The My body's so big, I had to bust the sleeves off. I just flexed and vaporized. <laughs> yeah, what happened to this part? Yeah. Just bust it right more, off. <laughs> more aerodynamic. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, closing out. We just hit about 50k. What's that in miles? 35? Uh, yeah, man. It's a good rep. 35 miles straight up Latigo, Latigo Canyon? Yeah, Latigo. Latigo Canyon. Around... Where did we go? <laughs> <laughs> we went all the way, way back into the depths of Malibu. Yeah. And then we came down a little bit of coffee and then your favorite place, Mount Dew. Yeah. Did some <laughs> did no, some house hunting out there for the future. Yeah. No big deal. We yeah. already got a couple houses picked out. Gotta be neighbors in the next couple years because driving out here for an hour every day, it's not optimal. Um, Stretch. Yeah. So I need to be up this mountain living here, getting the real training done. Real hard work. Listen, man. All the weapons live in Malibu, everybody knows that. Facts. And everything done by 9am. 
yeah ready to conquer the day.